to vlog this on my channel. Um, today I thought it'd be fun. Well, I originally thought it would be fun to make a gingerbread house, but I found this instead, and it's a it says gingerbread camper kit. So I thought it would be fun to try to do this instead. I also didn't get any. Like, I'm hoping that everything I need is in here because I didn't get anything else. Alright, so this looks like it's icing. That is icing. Black icing or gray icing. Looks like black icing from the packet. We have green icing. Some candies. And then... Oh, we have a bag for the icing to go into, I guess. And then we have the gingerbread cookies. And there is instructions. So basically just saying to make sure that none of them are broken. Um, so we'll open this up. Also, it says I'm going to need scissors and I didn't grab any scissors. So... We have scissors, yay. All right, so I'm going to open up the cookies. It says completely read through the instructions before you begin, but I'm not going to, so there's that. Because I just want to be creative and decorate. It just wants me to like trim the cookies so they're the same. I'm not doing any of that. So there's the two sides of, so this is obviously the side of like the little door. And then this side, and then it, there's these pieces that go in between. Up here, um, there's a cookie behind it. So what I want to do is to decorate one side like it is in the picture, and then decorate the other side however I want. I don't know what that was, but here we go. So. I'll do the side with the door because that's what it looks like on <clears throat> the box. I also have like no idea what they expect you to do. Best because this is a unique pouch so you gotta need it to get everything mixed together here. It says place in warm water for one minute. Um, I'm not gonna do that. So. Yeah, I am going to roll this bag so that I can squeeze this into that. I feel like you need multiple hands for this, more than two. Also, I'm not sure that there's enough for two cookies, but I guess we'll find out. And you have to put the two cookies together with the other two little pieces. Don't you need icing for that? It probably would have, I don't know. This seems pretty melted and I don't know if it's just cause um, it's been sitting in my apartment that's usually pretty warm for a couple weeks. No, like a week, I don't know. You know how sometimes you get stuff like this and then the icing just tastes awful and you're like, why, why bother? This tastes good. I could have just eaten this right into my mouth. Squeezed it into my mouth. Okay. So I guess if I really want to try to get more out of that later, I can. I'm just going to cut off a little bit on the end and hopefully... So I'm gonna start with this side. I'm gonna start with this side. It has the door, um, just like in the picture. And I'm just gonna base it off of that and see how it goes. So I grab the knife just to spread it out easily. So it looks pretty flat in the picture. So I'm starting with the door. You can get like, some shots maybe of in between. I don't think this is going to work really that well, but 
we will try it anyway. This one of my favorite things to do is make decorate gingerbread houses and stuff. So every year it seems like they come out with a different thing. I saw one that was a Mario castle that you could get and build and like decorate like a Mario castle. That's amazing. When I was little, I remember watching the Food Network and wanting to build like the extravagant like gingerbread castles and build huge rooms in them and put them all together. But I never did any of that. So I just buy the kits. These are fun too. One year I bought gingerbread cookies and I thought that they were like two little ones and they're two big ones, like bigger than just this. And me and Tim decorated them and that was a lot of fun. And then his cat at the time uh, just licked, got on the table and licked them all while we weren't looking. So that was fun. So I'm already using a lot of this icing. How much I'll be able to use on the other cookie? I know I've already said that, but I have now just used a bunch of it. It's like a pretty intricate. I love crafts. I love decorating. I love being artistic. When I was in first grade, I remember around, uh, like in December every year, they would have the kids save milk cartons during lunch for like a week or whatever and then we would use the milk cartons and put graham crackers around them and then like on all the sides and on the tops to make the roof and stuff and then we would decorate those and that was a cute fun idea for like six five and six year olds all right this one I have so far. I think it looks pretty good. I want to try this green one. It kind of looks like slime. Hey monkey, my cat's here. Hopefully he doesn't jump on the table. He doesn't usually, but. So, cut this open, probably a little too big, and I say that every time, but. So it looks like, definitely too big. Um, they outlined the top part. So it definitely looks lighter in the picture, but that's all right. It just looks more like Grinch green. One time I had my hair colored lime green, and the only reason it worked and was fine that it was all, not, it was not supposed to be that color, but the only reason it worked was because it was around Christmas, and my mom's hair is always red, so I think people thought we did it on purpose, but we didn't. Um, so now it just looks atrocious. But here we have... I am going to eat it. If it's messy. It kind of looks like, um... halloween -y to me. But... It's okay, I like Halloween. Now I'm going to add what they added for the black icing, accents, and the tire. Oh, I forgot to add the green garland. I'm gonna probably put some music in. So I'm going to go back, add the garland pieces Probably is not going to be great because this hole is so big. I should have cut a hole, a smaller hole, but that's cool. Okay. All right. So now we're gonna add the candies. Um, this is probably gonna be a mess too. So good luck to me. grab like a dish see but it's okay all right so we are going to do this oh i don't want two of the same color 
next to each other. Come on. I'm trying to do a good job of making it look somewhat like the picture and not like I just like messed the whole thing up. But that's what's happening. This is why you should just use your creative abilities, use your own creativity, and do whatever you want with things like this. Because now, I'm feeling like I didn't do a good job when that's not the Ta-da! Look at that. Look at how Christmassy. I'm actually loving this, even though Again, none of my creativity really went into this besides trying to get the frosting where it is on the box. So I'm gonna set that one aside. And I'm gonna do this one however I want. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with white on the top. Back to this one. I think I kind of want to just do it backwards from. I added a little flower. I'll try to show you my little flower. All right, there's that one. There's this one. There they are together. And they're going to go back to back. However, I can do that. Um, and then. Oh my god, it's staying. Oh no. No, it's not. I got bamboozled. I think she's staying. This mess, but beautiful. Piece of work. So thanks for watching me decorate um, and gingerbread camper. Um, thanks for coming to day two of Vlogmas. Come back tomorrow for another fun video. Hopefully it's fun. I know yesterday was boring and I'm sorry, but thanks for stopping by. Come back tomorrow. I decided I probably should try to eat it, so. It tastes like a gingerbread cookie. The icing's really good. 10 out of 10. See ya.